Do you think Sony has a problem? They might actually have a problem. Um, time goes by fast. I'm sure you guys are starting to realize the older you get, it seems like the less time you have. I remember waiting on the PS4 and then waiting on the Xbox One. Waiting. I remember waiting on the Nintendo 64 and the Super Nintendo. And it seems like now all that stuff is just so old and it's gone by so fast. I remember waiting on the Nintendo Switch, which I'm playing now and enjoying. And I also remember, I still feel it, waiting on the Xbox One Scorpio. Uh, that feeling of, what is this thing going to be? It's right around the corner, guys. We're a few months away from actually owning this thing, seeing it, playing it. And what is it going to be actually capable of? I think it's going to be pretty powerful. I think when it comes to multi-plants, there won't be a question that they will run better and look better on the Xbox Scorpio, unless the PlayStation 4 Pro has some other tricks to pull out of its sleeve. But some more information has come out recently via GameStop. One of the GameStop CEOs is talking about the Xbox Scorpio and what he thinks so far. And the information is pretty titillating and I'm excited to bring it to you now. I'll drop a link in the description. Xbox Scorpio news, powerful 4K console teased following PlayStation 4 and Xbox One gaming pledge. Xbox Scorpio news this week includes the latest powerful 4K tees, as well as more on the gaming projects and how they'll impact Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I'll give you guys my thoughts on how I feel about this after the story because there's a lot more than power uh, in this gaming uh, ecosystem and you gotta have more than just power. The Xbox Scorpio still remains shrouded in mystery. However, leading industry figures continue to tease its potential 4K firepower. While we know that Microsoft has no current plans to offer exclusive games for the Xbox Scorpio, we do know that the console will look to offer upgraded 4K gameplay over the base Xbox One, much like the PlayStation 4 Pro. Being touted as the most powerful console ever created, it's hard to expect anything other than a top price point for a console which is set to arrive late in 2017. Early specs have revealed that the Xbox Scorpio will boast 6 teraflops of GPU and will aim to deliver 4K gaming and support virtual reality. And now GameStop has given its latest update, confirming that they believe that the new Xbox Scorpio console has a lot of potential. But I think that that's their job anyway, to sell consoles, but we'll see. Quote, in physical gaming, there have been cyclical declines without question, but we have very strong cards to play in Nintendo Switch, Sony PlayStation VR, and Microsoft Xbox Scorpio, GameStop CEO Paul Ryan's reveal. Chief Operating Officer Tony Bartell added a further tease saying, quote, Finally, we're impressed with the Microsoft Scorpio product. Unfortunately, we can't talk a lot about it other than what's known, he said. The Scorpio is a very powerful system, and it's really made for 4K. We see it as a very gaming-centric, very, very powerful unit, and we do believe that there will be some great games that are made for this, end quote. It follows reports earlier this week that claim the Xbox Scorpio will offer new 4K functionality that is not currently available on the PS4 or PS4 Pro. That's actually exciting. Unsurprisingly, the new Project Scorpio console will not be going back to the power brick design of yore and will instead mimic the Xbox One S's internal power supply. About damn time. Seriously. Uh, while this might not come as a surprise to fans, more was also revealed about the Scorpio's potential 4K capabilities. Project Scorpio will reportedly feature HE, VC, and VP9 codecs for decoding 4K streams for things such as Netflix, as well as HE, VC for encoding 2160p, 60 frame per second video for game DVR and streaming. Wow, so that's a big deal. Project Scorpio's Game DVR will allow you to stream and record clips in 4K resolution with 60 frames per second, giving the Xbox Scorpio a huge advantage over the PlayStation 4 uh, Pro, rather than offer 1080p at 60 frames per second. That's a big deal. If that's actually true, that's a huge deal. Those who own the base Xbox One or even the Xbox One S may not be at risk of losing out on any big gains, but they may be still feeling a little nervous over where Microsoft's attentions will lie in the future. Rory Newbild, the lead designer at Hi-Res Studios, was asked about this subject in a recent interview, confirming that developers were still very much focused on providing for where the bulk of their customers are. Quote, We like to develop from the bottom up, ensuring the low-end machines and last-generation hardware performs its best with the game. End quote. The Scorpio brings an opportunity to take advantage of, of our ultra or enthusiast level settings, but we won't lose sight of those of us who still hang on to their current machines. 
the Xbox Scorpio undoubtedly is going to be scary powerful. Um, it's going to be a, a, a monster uh, when you actually turn it on and you have a 4K TV and you start playing it and you see just the resolution and the frame rate and there's no hiccups. Hopefully these developers can really take advantage of this hardware. It's going to be amazing. I mean, when it comes to multiplats, the reason I play all my multiplats on the PlayStation is because usually they perform better. But if the tables were turned and they perform better on my Xbox One, I would buy my multiplats on the Xbox One. There's not a question. I want the best experience. And I think most people do. Uh, and that is a big problem for Sony at this time. Will it make the Xbox Scorpio the winner necessarily? That's another question, and it's probably reserved for someone who's far more intelligent than I am on the subject. But my own personal opinion is this. It takes more than multi-plats to be a winner. If it's a multi-plat, then you can play it on the PlayStation 4 Pro, and it might not be true 4K resolution. It might be checkerboarded, uh, and it might not even play close to how good it plays on the Xbox Scorpio, but what makes the PlayStation and the Xbox different are their exclusives. The exclusive content is what makes these consoles and these companies different when you can play games like bloodborne neo uncharted the last of us god of war um horizon zero dawn these games are incredible games and, and no one's arguing that incredible games great experiences i think everybody needs to have but if you can only get those kind of experiences on the playstation that's going to really hurt the xbox what xbox needs instead of focusing 100 percent on power they need to focus on quality. They need to focus on production. They need to focus on writing. They need to do what Marvel is doing and hit every single exclusive out of the park. That's what they need to do. I understand the argument that, you know, power is, you know, we need power. We need 5,000 gigawatts of power. That's fine. But at the end of the day, people are going to want to play particular games that are renowned experiences. You know, if you can play, I just got done playing Horizon Zero Dawn. It's incredible. I'm playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild now. It's incredible. I have a Nintendo Wii, but you know, I'm a geek, so I had to buy the Nintendo Switch. But there's only one place to play it. And I'm not arguing that these exclusives need to be, you know, ubiquitous across every platform. That's, that's bullshit to me. What Microsoft needs to do, if they really want to damper Sony's big huge win that they've got going on right now. They got to focus on development. They got to focus on writing They got to get some teams together that craft incredible experiences Ori in the blind forest is still my favorite Xbox one exclusive to this day You know, it's a hand-drawn uh, Side-scroller in in the vein of Castlevania Symphony of the Night where this this very uh, Emotional tale was told about this spirit of the forest and, and this this demonic owl that was after him and at the end of the game you figure out really what was the problem, why, why this owl was after him. And all of a sudden you feel for the owl, you feel for the protagonist, and it's just a, a well-crafted story with very little words. But it was it was put together very well by a team who cared about the way the story was portrayed. And Microsoft needs to focus on developers who are willing to do that, who are willing to step outside of the box. Instead of focusing on franchises that, to be honest, are dying. You know, Halo's dying, Gears of War is dying, they're not the same as they used to be. They need to focus on new experiences and craft incredible games. And that's what I think they need to do. If they can do that as well as um, make the Xbox Scorpio, you know, the most powerful console ever created, I think that the Xbox could definitely win. I think that they could win this whole console generation, but they got to have the games. Sony cannot be the only place that you go to for, you know, I'm looking forward to these games. I can't honestly say what I'm looking forward to like that in the Xbox brand. I'm not throwing shade. I'm just being honest. You guys know me. I'm an honest guy. And I'm just telling the truth from my perspective. I know there's probably a lot of fans out there say, no, blast for me. There's really very few games out there on the Xbox brand that have been coming out, that have all been hitting it out the park the way Sony has, and that I'm still looking forward to playing like that. It just isn't. Okay, so you guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. The Xbox Scorpio will be undoubtedly extremely powerful as per the elite in the GameStop uh, hierarchy who've actually been seeing the console, I guess, spending time talking to, you know, Phil Spencer and some of the guys over at Microsoft. I'm sure that they've actually seen this thing in action. And I'm thinking we'll see it very soon, maybe before E3. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for my channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter. And if you make your own videos and you have your own thoughts about video games, upload them and share them at BeastlyGamer.com. And they'll be right here on this channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go, pay my body go, take my body.